Uh, first, let me say how um, honored and humbled that it, I am uh, to be able to speak on behalf of our entire 1998-99 team. I'd also like to congratulate our fellow inductees. Uh, I want to thank all of the Sanford University Athletic Department for giving us such a, a great weekend uh, to this point. Uh, but before I say a few words about our team, I'd like to have a moment uh, to recognize Jeff Taylor, who was a former Sanford basketball player, uh, a great friend and an even better person that lost a tough, long battle to cancer recently. So if you would please join me in a moment of silence for Jeff. Our 98-99 basketball team was a close, tight-knit group of young men who were not only teammates, but brothers on and off the court. We were a team that knew the meaning of hard work, we loved to compete, and we held each other accountable. Each year when we arrived on campus, the first Sunday that we were back, we had a team meeting. Uh, and in that, that very first team meeting, coaches, Coach Dillette um, said something that I believe resonated with all of us, and it's something that I try to live by to this day, and it really set the tone for the season. He told us, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you're selfish. <laughs> Our coaches knew we had a talented team, but talent alone doesn't win championships. And I think what they were trying to do was set the foundation and instill in us that you have to pay attention to detail in order to be a championship team and understand what it takes to win. We had a dream 24-6 and six season that ended with a trip to the NCAA tournament. But I think there were three key or defining moments in that season that could have changed the outcome had they not happened or if they happened differently. The first moment happened after a practice early in the season. We'd only played probably four or five games, non-conference games to this point. We really, quite frankly, weren't playing very well. There was something that was holding us back from really reaching our potential. There was a tension in the locker room. Um, and, and everyone knew it, but we really didn't address it. And finally, uh, it, it came to a head, and our coaches asked one of our teammates to lead the team. And I think at that moment, we collectively exhaled and never looked back. The second moment came after our last non-conference game in the finals of a tournament at Chattanooga. We lost on a last second shot. Uh, we, we fell to six and four at that point on the season. And what I remember most was not that we we lost the game or how we lost the game, but how we, how we reacted at that point in the season. At that point, we were really, we were so upset. We were bothered so much by losing, and we really wanted to change our season that we really rededicated or committed ourselves to working hard and give our best effort every time we hit the floor. So there was a renewed um, sense of pride and, and vigor and um, just determination for us to put our best foot forward every time we hit the floor. I think our final moment, defining moment, came after a road game at Centenary College in Shreveport. It was a hostile environment similar to the, the, the scenario that Coach Tillette mentioned uh, in Deland at Stetson. Uh, their fans were, uh, the gym, you know, you're, they're on top, of the, on top of the floor and they told us a lot of choice words. Um, <laughs> It really was a, it was a pretty cool environment to play in. Both teams were undefeated in the conference at that point. We were both 5-0. and oh. And uh, not only did we win, we, we wound up beating Centenary pretty bad by about 20 points that game. Um, but what I remember most was the locker room after the game. It was, it was something that I can still see and hear. Um, us celebrating, dancing, jumping around. You know, you see that on social media these days with teams. Obviously, social media really wasn't available then. Um, but if you can think about those moments of championship teams you see today, that was us after the centenary game. And I can still see Will Daniel doing the Dirty Bird. Uh, <laughs> Coach Kelly came in and very eloquently, uh, in a less, much less kid-friendly version, tell us, told us how much we abused the other team. And at that moment, it was, it was surreal. You could just sit back and see that we were really enjoying the process. We were having fun. And it was, a, it was a moment that I think we all realized that all of our hard work um, didn't just have to be a grind. We were committed to working hard, but we could also enjoy the process along the way. Overall, it was a magical season that will be in the history books forever, along with our induction tonight into the Hall of Fame. 
But what I'm most proud of are the relationships and the memories that I had from that team, uh, because those are the things that'll last forever. So on behalf of the 98-99 team, we all like to say thank you um, and enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you.